As we saw in previous videos, using buttons with Arduino is very simple. But the truth is that buttons and switches usually don't give a clean on-off contact. They often have what we call bouncing. That is the period of the transition from one state to the other where they actually send several quick pulses instead of a clean on-off signal. And this can have negative effects on our projects. To demonstrate this problem, I have this button to increase the value by one for each press. But sometimes it increases more than once. To prevent this, we can add to the code something we call the bouncing, that it will ignore the bouncing signal from the button, resulting in a clean output that will react properly to the press of the button. The way the code works is by using a few variables to create some sort of delay to ignore the small pulses. I include a lot of comments to explain how the code works, but at the end, the best thing is to just copy paste this code to use it in your project. And modify these parameters in the adjustment section to serve your needs. In my example, I include several ways to use buttons. Signal while pressing the button single pulse per press, get signal when we hold the button, create repeated pulses after holding, and toggle the output with the press of the button. Try it out and see how much better your projects can be when you implement this debouncing to your buttons and switches. As you may notice, variables are set to the default value when we reset Arduino or when we do a power cycle. If you want to store values to be able to restore it even after rebooting Arduino, check out the next video where we're going to talk about EEPROM, that is a memory that can hold data even after removing the power. If you ever need to have a custom PCB for your projects, either your own design or from one downloaded from someone else, you can upload the Geber files to PCBWay.com and they can manufacture it starting at $5 plus shipping. That makes it easier than using a generic prototype board. I hope it was helpful and see you in the next video. Bye bye.